guys and girls. Um, it's been a while since I last made uh, a video for EFO. Um, been pretty busy with real life, um, but uh, now I've got more time to uh, get back into the game. Uh, recently been um, doing a lot of the Gala sites, and I think I've got a fairly good fit with a Vex and Navy issue that I was going to share with you. Uh, so if we take a look at the actual fit, so what we got here, we've got three damage controls in the low slots, so plenty of damage. Um, we've got a nanofiber internal structure too, so that um, gives us a, a bit more align time, nice and agile um, on gates to get to the sites and beat other capsules to the sites. Omni Knight directional tracking enhancer um, to increase the tracking speed of the drones because on the Gala sites, the first wave is a, a wave of um, frigates, very, very nimble, fast frigates. So the drones on this particular Vex and Navy issue need to be able to track. So it's all about tracking um, uh, to hit those, those that first wave of frigates. Um, damage control two, don't need a lot of tank for these sites. Uh, so that gives us a nice, nice little bit of tank. Um, invulnerability field, again, more tank. Uh, large shield extender. It's the metaphor version uh, to keep the CPU um, down. We've got a, this is the only bit of bling on the fit, a Federation Navy Omnidirectional Tracking Link uh, with the tracking scripts again, um, improving the tracking speed of those drones. And the Federation Navy gives us uh, that ex extra, extra bit above the, the Tech 2. Um, 50 mega Newton micro warp drive. Uh, again, for getting into systems and back to gate, uh, basically you, it, it's you're scouting with this ship from system to system, um, so you want to be fast. A um, couple of salvager twos. Um, if you get bored, you can salvage the wrecks as well. Tractor beam, small tractor beam going out to 24 kilometers. Um, again, you'll find yourself competing with other capsuleers and having that tractor beam to pull in the final wreck where the skins are located is really really handy uh, an armor repairer because your drones will take damage and you don't want to be returning to station all the time and then in the rigs uh, we've got some hyperspatial velocity optimizers just the the uh, the ones rather than the tech twos to keep the costs down um, again this is all about speed of getting to sites and navigating through new eden so with those two, you have a warp speed of 4.23, which isn't bad for a cruiser. And then to plug the EM um, hole in the shield, we've got an EM screen reinforcer. And then in terms of the drones, uh, we've got Republic Fleet um, Warriors, which aren't used, actually. Um, and I'll go into that in a little bit. Um, what's mainly used are the, the Republic Fleet Republic Fleet Valkyries. Republic Fleet because again they have increased tracking over and above the standard Tech 2s and they also have a lot more tank as well which, which helps. And then we've got the um, the main damage drones, the Berserker 2s um, for the cruisers in the sites and the battle cruiser in the sites. Because the tracking is so great on the Vex Navy issue with um, those mods as well uh, those particular fittings, the tracking enhancer and the Federation Navy omnidirectional tracking link. You can actually, it's faster to get through the first frigate uh, wave using the medium drones, uh, and I've timed it over and above the, the warriors. The warriors are there just for backup in, in case you ever need it. Okay, so um, we'll now run one of the sites. Okay, so we've just landed in system and there's a, a site right here. So I'm warping to zero and putting on my shield. So that's the invulnerability field and activating the omnidirectional tracking link. So we're all prepped. And in our drone bay here, we've got our three flights, our heavy, our light and our mediums, all explosive because the site um, is full of rats that uh, are weak to explosive damage. So we've closed in on the site fairly quickly and we're the first here. So it's our site. So 
out go the mediums. And these frigates are the, the hardest wave really because they're so so small and nimble. But uh, even with the medium drones, we're penetrating, smashing, um, hits. So most, most of those drones are hitting and penetrating. So getting some good hits, even on the, the, the small frigates. And like I said before, I have tried with the uh, the lighter drones, but because um, they're lighter, they, they're giving out less damage each time they hit. So it's actually quicker with the, the medium drones. There's a bug there. Uh, my capacitor's not showing. I do have capacitor, it's just not showing. Sometimes the drones do take damage, um, and when they take damage, I'll lock onto them and I'll wrap them back up with my ar armor repairer. Uh, the, uh, they're about to take damage because the, uh, the frigates have gone yellow boxed, so they're, they're actually locking onto the, the drones. And there's the first one taking some damage, so I'll lock the target. And then I can wrap it back up with my remote repairer. Not that the armor's taking any damage on that but at this point. And we're almost through the wave. Um, takes just over three minutes with this particular setup, um, which is pretty fast, I think. There's probably other fits out there that are faster, but this, this, this fit works for me. And I'm thinking that because it's drone-based, I can change out the drones for future events that might be coming up as well. So you can suit, suit the damage type to the particular so situation. So return the medium drones out with the heavies. The Vex Navy issue delivers a lot of drone damage. Um, so blitzing through those cruisers. Anyone that flies drone ships, I totally recommend um, switching out your hotkeys so that you're controlling your drones with your hotkeys. So at the moment, I press E to engage. I select the target, press E, and the drones go straight to it. And then I've set up R so that my drones return uh, as well. And also to lock targets, I've set up my space bar. It's a lot, lot quicker. There we go, there's the final battle cruiser. So now I switch out to my salvage, wait for it to blow up, and hopefully it will show up in my salvage tab here. Lock onto the salvage, press R to return the drones, tractor beam in open cargo. That's probably just over three minutes to clear the, the whole site. And let's see what we've got. An NU. Okay. And that's how you do the sites. And then to finish off, I just do a little bit of salvage. So there you go, guys and girls. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, it's been um, quite some time, but I'm going to be making a few more of these videos over the next uh, few days and coming weeks. Goodbye.